All right, so welcome to the uh, August core team meeting. Uh, thanks for joining. Hope you're all having a good summer. Um, so I sent an agenda topic uh, on the issue, uh, I, I think it was yesterday or maybe it was a couple of days ago. I think there was like one suggestion uh, to the topic from Yakopo, which I appreciated. Uh, so roughly this is the agenda. Uh, we're gonna talk a lot about the lot of, about a lot of events, uh, but we'll talk about the hackathon. Uh, not sure if you see an announcement on the GitLab Heroes program. Uh, wanted to talk about that briefly. Uh, and uh, some of the upcoming events that I uh, think I either like posted on Slack channels or, or, or give everyone a heads up on. Um, and if we have time, uh, obviously we can talk about other topics, but was there any other topics that, that you wanna put forward here or should I just get started with, uh, with the slides? Yeah, I just added a topic about the single code base. Uh in the last slide but yeah we can talk about oh, okay it. cool yeah so okay cool uh, it's danny here. sorry i just interrupt it's danny here i've just joined gitlab um here in sydney australia oh so, yeah um, i got this i got this invite um am i supposed to be on this call or? Uh, i mean the call is actually open to anybody so you're more than welcome to stay uh i mean it's a public call so uh, but i mean if you have other things going on and uh that that uh, I mean, you feel free to drop off, Danny. So appreciate you. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested in listening in this hackathon, actually. So yeah, okay, I'll stay cool. For a little bit okay, all right. yeah, just yeah. just Thanks. stay on, and you're welcome to stay. Okay, thank you. Uh, cool, you bet. And thanks for joining. Um, so uh, guess we'll get started. Uh, so first on the hackathon that's coming up in in roughly a couple of weeks. Uh, so I mean, this. The, uh, basically it happens on 28th and 29th I mean depending on your time zone so people like Tukria will usually get an earlier start with uh, with his contributions uh, so you'll see the event page uh, I made updates with prizes and and announcements on uh, why don't I just go there really quick on tutorial sessions and uh, so I'll probably make an update. I have an addition. I talked to uh, Ramya actually from the quality team. Uh, uh, and I think I'll be able to add her tutorial session right after the kickoff. Um, so uh, so uh, keep an eye out on this page for latest info. Uh, so that's happening on the 28th and 29th. And as you may have seen this, um, uh, the social promo started, I believe, yesterday. Uh, I've definitely seen it on both LinkedIn and Twitter. Oops, sorry. Um, so, and I'm actually one of those weird people that are that's not on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, I mean, please let me know uh, if you've seen the uh, advert or, or campaign on, on Hackathon on Facebook. Uh, and then I think like each each week there'll be like a new postings that are going um, that are going to be posted uh, leading up to the event. Um, so I think uh, I mean Ben, I think your feedback was on feedback last time, so we just wanted to make sure that was included this time around. So hopefully you can confirm that's there. Um, I mean, one of the things that was sort of disappointing from the last hackathon was that the number of MRs uh, significantly went down that came from the community members uh, com compared to Q1. Um, I mean, I don't expect the number of MRs to always increase and be on a you know huge upward trend all the time, but uh, definitely want to see this uh, bit of a rebound uh, for Q3. So I want to encourage everyone to participate uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, but let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I think one of the comments that came from Jacopo, and I'll click a link here so people can see it, uh, was, uh, I mean, obviously, with all the prizes so far, uh, with it's it's been I mean solely based on the number of contributions that people made or number of MRs that that have been submitted or or merged. Uh, and I mean, Jacob, you brought up a good, good point about what about um, like a difficulty or or the quality of the MR uh, versus like a simple changes and you know if there's a way to 
uh, put some weight on like either level of difficulty or how challenging it is. But I mean, Jacob, go ahead. I don't know if I was able to paraphrase what you're trying to say here. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you pretty much explained everything. The, mm -hmm. My point was that, uh, as you mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. we count this PR uh, just by number, but mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, every PR has different weights. Uh, yeah. So using, doing that, I think, uh, is not completely fair because encourage mostly uh, doing small PR, especially during the hackathon, just to go up in the ranking. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, interestingly, this was actually brought up, I think, last quarter. Uh, I think it was on Reddit because uh, I, I mean, Reddit is one of the other channels that I, I make announcements on the event and people asked about uh, there's a potential for gaming, right? I mean, you, you, you know, instead of doing uh, just one or two MRs, just break everything up and just, you know, increase the number of MRs so you can uh, win the grand prize, for example. And um, the comment I made was that, I mean, I acknowledge that the possibility is there, but I have uh, yet to see cases where people kind of abuse the rule, uh, so to speak, uh, just to increase the number of MRs that get merged, uh, just to win a prize. And, and I mean, the prize is, I mean, the, the grand prize of the last couple of quarters has been like $100 on shop.kitlab.com. So it's not a huge, I mean, sum of money uh, to, to entice people to uh, game the situation. Uh, but I did, you know, acknowledge that maybe there's something that we need to think about in terms of um, maybe a creativity or a difficulty of the MR that was, con or difficulty of the contribution that was submitted during the event. Um, I mean, one of the things that I was thinking about was, uh, I mean, almost similar to the way we award MVPs, like maybe amongst, amongst just a core team members, like, you know, let's say in Q3, there are 70 MR submitted. Uh, and like a 50 of them are merged, um, maybe the core team members can look at the 50 of the merged MRs and just pick one that you think was like interesting or that was like creative or it was challenging. Uh, and then we give, give out a separate award for that. I mean, that's just, that was something that I just thought about um, after I saw, I saw your comment, comment Jacopo, um, but uh, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts and, and see what they think. Yeah, I think it's it's more fair um, to use the weights. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, we just need to ensure that at least during the um, during the hackathon, every MR gets a weight signed by the reviewers. I guess. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean that might be like a difficult thing to do because I mean, I mean, let's say you have you have a weight between like one to ten. I mean, the 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 concern I have is that, uh, I mean, one person might think this is a seven, and the other person say, well, it's not that challenging. I might give a five. Um, so I don't know if that's. I mean, or I mean, maybe that's one way of doing it. Like you look at the MR and you sort of weight, put a weight on it, each of the core team members, and then like average score and, and see which one wins. Um, I mean, is that what you're thinking, uh, Hannes, or? Yeah, I mean, you have to be careful of that. But yeah. on the other hand, I'm not sure if we need to be so detailed about this. Uh, yeah. So let's say you can say, 10 to 6 uh, is high difficulty and then someone in the last just like, just like three steps or something like that. Yeah. Then it I mean, doesn't yeah. matter so much if it's a 6 or a 7 just right. guess, uh, to get a general reading about it. Right. I mean, I mean, I think I, I mean, the one of the reasons why I suggested MVP as an example, it's, it's not, uh, it's not so rigid, right? I mean, you basically people make uh, nominations or suggestions and then you sort of do a vote, but that's that's pretty, I mean, you, you basically do a thumbs up and thumbs down vote on, on the nominees. Uh, but it, it's, you know, but I mean, there's like a one person who sort of decides based on the nominations, right? So, 
um, I mean, maybe that's something, I mean, we can consider uh, uh, this time around, but uh, let me know if you have other thoughts. Like Remy, I may, did I cut you off or like, I, I wasn't sure if you're agreeing in general or if you have other thoughts. No, I was, uh, yeah, agreeing in general um, okay. on the idea. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, maybe we can iterate this, continue to iterate this on the issue on and continue the discussion. Um, and uh, I'm not sure if we'll have something in place uh, before the event starts, but I don't, like even if we decide on like a, doing a separate award even, even after the hackathon period is officially over, I think that's okay. Um, Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's Ben. So I guess I I have mixed feelings both ways. So I could mm -hmm. see where um, doing weights could be valuable. Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I guess if you don't do them real time, then it's hard for somebody to really compete, right? So that's why at that point, it almost seems like um, giving out an MVP award might be better. Because um, if yeah. someone's trying to, you know, really watch how everyone's doing and compete, we've got to do the points real time. Yeah. I mean, even even the points, like, I mean, I wasn't necessarily thinking like a real time, even with the scoring, like we could do it after, like, I mean, that 10 day period is over after everything's like, you know, the deadline for, for the MRs to be merged. Like, you know, we can, on the Slack channel, uh, we can just, you know, you know, if we decide to use a score, we can, we can like, you know, award scores there. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be done real time, but. Right, I guess my, my point was, so there's a, there's currently a published scoring system, which there's a value in having um, easily available. So someone can uh, okay. see, am I, am I in right. line to get first place, second place, third place or whatever, right? Right. right. Um, so anyway, I guess I'm, I'm agreeing that perhaps keeping the current system and then having a separate MVP uh, might be a good idea. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, definitely continue the discussion on on the issue, um, and uh, yeah, we'll try to. Uh, I mean, I, I like the idea though, even if it's just a picking one that to, that we want to highlight, uh, and as an example, uh, and then you know we might just do a you know MVC uh, for this time around, and we'll try to improve it uh, for Q4. All right. Well, thanks, Jacopo, for that suggestion. Uh, but that, yeah, that uh, I gave me a chance to think about that other post that I addressed on Reddit about three months ago. Yeah, I mean, good thing is we haven't, I haven't seen any evidence of gaming yet. I mean, just to win the $100 gift card, uh, but doesn't mean that nobody's going to try to do something. But I mean, if, if that happens, uh, I'll probably try to like a deal with it like a separately, um, but um, see, I think yeah. Ray more yeah. like more likely than gaming is probably just um, different people's MR habits. Like I tend to break out MRs as much as possible, but other right. people might not. So yep. you yep. might end up having someone with twenty typo fixes and right. uh, someone who spent a ton of time on some really big MR. Right. Uh, so I think it, it really comes down to ideally we're uh, rewarding the person that contributes and the most valuable contribution. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was my point, indeed. Yep. But but I think it's a really good idea to do the MVP as first approach because it's much easier and we don't need to set up wait for all the issues in advance and so on. So completely agree in starting with that and let's see how it goes. Cool. All right, thanks. Cool. Um, so let's move on to the next topic. Uh, so the HEROES program, uh, not sure if uh, people have seen the either the landing page or announcement. I think like a Twitter, like a campaign went out last week as well. Uh, so this is the main uh, landing page. I don't know why they put my photo on the, the top of the page, but uh, uh, so you'll 
um, uh, basically uh, gives you a background in terms of like rewards, attributes, and and what we're looking for. Uh, and I mean, this is basically uh, a way to uh, provide more structure in terms of recognizing, I mean, contributors. I mean, not just contributors like yourselves that are contributing a lot of the code or helping fix uh, or improve our product, but uh, basically, uh, you know, like things like organizing like meetups and events, uh, speaking at industry conferences, but we wanted to basically uh, provide better structure and recognizing uh, people that are contributing to GitLab in, in a lot of different ways, like including like writing blog posts and, and doing write-ups. Um, so, I mean, all of you, uh, folks that are on the call are, I mean, more than qualified for this. I mean, we have different tiers for 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 the heroes, um, and I want to encourage you to, I mean, take a look at this page if you haven't already. And I mean, uh, I mean, feel free to fill in this application and send it in. Uh, and I think, I mean, at least one or two of you I know submitted, which I appreciate. So I think uh, John or Emily Chin will be getting back to you soon with, with, the, with the final decisions. Um, but uh, just wanted to make you aware of it. And at the bottom of the page, there's a link to it on the slide as well. I mean, John Coughlin did a webinar last week. Uh, it's about 30 minutes. Uh, if you want to get more background on the HEROES program, I encourage you to take a look at it at, at your leisure. Um, and let me or John know if you have any questions. I, I think the, a lot of the applications that have been coming in, I've been, uh, I mean, there are several of us that have been sort of voting on, on uh, whether we, we don't want to accept um, uh, the applicants or not. But uh, I mean, I definitely want to encourage all of you to, uh, uh, from the wider community to apply and participate in the program. Uh, so I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I was talking to John. Uh, we sh there should be a place in in the um, in the in the web page. I think it'll be somewhere around here. There'll be uh, uh, basically photos of people that that are uh, that have been accepted as heroes. Uh, so you'll probably see them uh, see the pictures added here pretty soon. So, um, any questions on heroes? I mean, John would have been on the call, ex ex except that it's uh, two in the morning his time in New York. So I'm I'm doing this uh, uh, discussion on his behalf. But I mean, if you have any questions, I mean, let me know. I'll be happy to. Uh, uh, I mean, or or you can find John as well on 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 the Slack channel, and he'd be ha happy to answer your questions and help you out. So, so that's. It on heroes. Any questions or? Um, so I guess maybe clarification. Uh, many... oh, go ahead, Ben. Sorry. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess I was gonna say. So I guess uh, originally I probably I guess I just assumed that uh, core team was considered automatic here, but it sounds like that's not the case. So we should go ahead. Yeah, I mean, go ahead and I mean, it should tell. It should take you like two minutes to fill in right. the application. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, that was, I think we talked about that like uh, previously, like just, you know, grandfathering everybody in, but I think we decided to use it in the process. So just name, email, get lab ID, that's basically all we need. Uh, and then um, Ben, I mean, or, or any other people that are applying, just, just, just ping me on Slack and let me know you send in the application and I could give John a heads up. Sure. So then, uh, I guess a second curiosity: Do you know why they want work email? I mean, uh, to an extent, but at the same time, um, I, don't, I don't quite exactly see how this has to be tied to one's work. Okay, uh, I mean, that's that. I'm not sure. I just I didn't even notice that. But let me take a note of that and ask John. Um, Yeah, I can certainly ask. That's a good question. No. Okay. Was that was that it, Ben? Or I think Takuya also had a question. Uh, Takuya, did you have a question on the Heroes program? Like, he's on mute.
hopefully he'll get he'll see that and get back to us. All right, I guess. Uh, okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, how many? Uh, how many heroes do you pass, uh, expect for the first uh, GitHub heroes? Uh, I th I heard that's uh, I think like somewhere around fifty is what I heard in the first quarter. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean it's a pretty large number. We're not just starting with like a five to ten people. We're starting with a pretty large number. So okay, yeah. So Thank yeah, you. we're not like limit artificially trying. I don't think we're trying to like artificially limit the number of people. Um, so I mean, we're 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 trying to have a a pretty big list of people to start off. So okay, thanks. Yeah, you bet. So okay, so uh, if there are no other questions, I'll move on to events. And and first two of these, I think I already gave people heads up on either via email or on Slack channel. Uh, so our first uh, uh, community conference uh, called GitLab Commit, uh, we're starting with two of them in Q3. Uh, the first one is going to be in Brooklyn, New York in September. Uh, and the one following that is in October in London. Uh, and via email, I think I sent you a registration code that you can use to register um, uh, for free. Um, so you don't have to pay for pay the registration fee. I mean, unfortunately, unlike the contributor summit event, like we, uh, the unless you're speaking, the uh, we can't help you with the with the travel expenses, like the airfare and hotel. Uh, but at the very least, like we wanted to uh, you to be able to attend the event uh, without paying the registration fee. I know. Uh, George, he's not on the call today, but I, I think he's speaking uh, for the Brooklyn event. So I, I saw him on the on the speaker list for the Brooklyn event. So I guess I'll um, I'll uh, plan on seeing him there because uh, I'll be uh, leading a panel session as well. And I think Jacopo, you were still thinking about whether you can come to the London event, uh, but uh, there's no deadline, so I mean you can register with that code. Uh, uh, I mean, anytime prior to the event. So let me know if you have any questions, and uh, and let me know if you're planning on attending. Uh, I definitely would like to seek you out while you're there. Uh, and Ben, I think we exchanged email on this. Like, um, I mean, both Brooklyn and London are nece not necessarily very close to California, but uh, I think the the plan is to have an event in the Bay Area in January timeframe. So there'll be more details coming forth on that. Um, so that's sort of the plan for the GitLab Commit event uh, that's happening in the next couple of quarters. Uh, and we're pretty excited. So the speaker lineup, um, if you go to the events page, uh, I think I have a window here. I, I see more of these people or more of the profile photos populating. Um, so, uh, if you want to like a look at schedule or who's speaking, uh, go take a look at the events page. Cool. And I mean, speaking of contribute or, or what used to be called the summit, uh, the, the date has been announced. The location is still to be determined. Uh, but just wanted to ask everyone, uh, all the core team members to save the date, uh, the March 22nd to 27th. Uh, I believe this is like Monday through Friday. Uh, so obviously, I mean, there aren't a lot of details available yet. I mean, there's a readme page that uh, Kirsten started. Uh, so we don't have the location. And then typically in the past, uh, the first and last days of the events were like a travel days. Uh, so I don't know if that, that's still the case uh, for our upcoming event in March. Uh, but at least I wanted, uh, everybody to sort of book, the, book that week out. So hopefully uh, more of you can make it uh, to the contribute event next year. Uh, so that's that. And hopefully, uh, I mean, I keep hearing the location will be announced soon, but uh, I've been hearing that for a while, but hopefully we'll find out where it is soon enough. Um, and the last one is more of an FYI. Uh, yeah, I've been talking to Jacopo about this. There's a, I mean, we've been working with the, uh, the KDE community. 
uh, and we'll be participating at their annual Academy Conference in Milan uh, in September. Uh, this, uh, the link should take you to the events page. Um, I had a, I submitted a talk for more of a community-related discussion that got accepted, and then I just I'm trying to sign us up for of a birds of a feather session on GitLab um, uh, to talk about our workflow uh, and also about our community. And I mean, the KDE folks are evaluating uh, GitLab uh, right now as as a uh, as a new uh, tool chain to use in their community. Uh, so that's why we're having we have a presence there, uh, and uh, I mean, thankfully, like both for Jacopo and Alessio, who uh, uh, are are relatively close by to Milan, so they uh, agreed to help out with the Birds of a Feather session. And this is a free event, so uh, anybody else is uh, welcome to participate. So just wanted to give a heads up and uh, thank you, Jacopo, for for joining us there. It'll be Actually, good to actually see you in person for the first time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I added our session, the birds of a feather session, for now on Monday. Uh, but I mean, they've asked us. I mean, I told them like it's it's possible for us to like move that to Tuesday because I wanted to avoid conflict with some of the key uh, birds of a feather session. Um, because uh, one of the pre presenter, Bushan, from the community, I wanted him to come to our session as well. So I'm trying to coordinate with that with Bushan from KDE. But uh, for now, we're sort of slotted in for Monday and the September 9th. Uh, but I'll let you know, Jacopo, when it's confirmed so you can uh, figure out your travel plans. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You bet. Well, thanks for coming. Cool. Uh, all right, so if there are no questions on events, uh, I guess uh, we can talk about the single code base. So Remy, like, tell yeah. us the latest. So yeah, um, the delivery team has been working uh, quite intensively towards the single code base effort. Um, and finally, they have um, a detailed plan with dates for uh, when this will happen so the the goal so yeah you can you can uh, see in the issue i've linked uh, that basically the um, the process will be to um, rename both projects so gitlab ce will become uh, gitlab FOSS, and gitlab ee will become just gitlab um, and will basically the development should will will only happen in the new GitLab. Uh, I mean, so the current GitLab EE projects, let's say, um, and there will be like a, a, an automatic sync uh, from CE to the FOSS project that will remove all the proprietary stuff, and all the issues and merge requests will be in the EE project. Um, and yeah, there will be communication. So I, this was communicated internally yesterday, and I, the, in the issues, I say that they will also communicate it externally. Uh, so I was uh, just, I just wanted to put that on everyone's radar, and maybe you can discuss if we, maybe you can like communicate communicate that in the in the Gitter channels too, um, like to. Yeah broaden the scope of the communication here and also gather feedback maybe uh, so is am i i'm just trying to make sure i'm reading this right thanks for bringing this up like i like the change in url these like it's actually happening in a couple of weeks it looks like is that yeah. correct or oh, yeah wow. and it, and it it would actually happen like the week of the hackathon oh wow so that's something yeah. to keep in mind so right. um the thing is that in GitLab, when you rename a project, uh, the old URL redirects to the new mm -hmm. one, and even for the Git remotes. So that shouldn't be that disruptive. And mm -hmm. I think the only big disruptive change here will be that community um, contributors are used to submit the merge request to GitLab CE, mm -hmm. and they will need to actually submit it to GitLab EE, which, is, which will be called just GitLab. So that's a quite a, 
Uh, okay. Yeah, that might need some like explanation for the uh, for the hackathon. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So they just need to. Okay, submit it to Git like GitLab basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me read through this, and yeah, I'll definitely ping you or or raise questions on this issue. Thanks for bringing that up. Wow, this yeah. is coming up fast. Like, I was gonna say, how yeah. finalized is this timeline? It's never final until it's done. I would say. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Like, but uh, I think it's optimistic for sure. Um, I think having this happen the same week as the hackathon is is uh, yeah setting us up for yet more problems than it's already going to cause. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I just realized that yesterday that it was uh, uh, the same week. So yeah, maybe we should have a discussion with the delivery team to move it to the week after. Right. Um, because yeah, basically. Contributors will will need to um, to clone the the EE project and set up the GDK for that. Um, ah, okay, yeah. Then that's that's definitely a lot of hurdles. Yeah, I'll make a yeah. comment on here uh, after we get off the phone, uh, after we get off this call, and and bring that up. So yeah, thanks for bringing this to our attention. No yeah, this brings a lot of interesting like things for me. Like, I mean, the the developer dashboard we have, the way we scrape the data, it's all got to change. Like, we got to do the redirects and all that. So. Yeah, there's a lot of projects that we need to be updated. Yeah. Cool. All right. Yeah. Wow. It it is happening. It is coming quickly. I think the the other thing that's going to uh cause a lot of pain is the moving of all the issues which it looks like is in the plan up top but um mm -hmm. certainly probably room for things to go wrong yeah okay yeah and this and i mean Right, and then like the community members are like, I mean, they're gonna to continue to submit MRs through CE up until that point, like whenever it happens, right? But yeah, we need to give them a heads up that. Yeah. Yeah, their yeah, work think, flow needs to change. Yeah, yeah and, and the plan to actually like close all the merge requests. Mm -hmm. um, in so in the week of uh, August nineteenth. Okay. Um, and before that, they will they will send a, a heads up, uh, obviously. But yeah, that would be a bit disruptive. Um, right. Because everyone will have to recreate their merge request in CE in EE. Oh, okay, they're not just going to be migrated automatically. They have to recreate it. Yeah, yeah I think uh, I think. I don't know if they are thinking about automatic automatically migrating the merge request from the uh, oh, okay. team, um, but it doesn't look like it. Yeah, either. I misread it. I thought this said like CEMRs, but it says issues. So yeah, yeah I could yeah. definitely ask that question too. Like if there's an easy way to just migrate them. But yeah, it's, I think it's up top in the plan. It says all CEMRs will be closed. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, cool. Thanks for bringing this up. I guess I'll have a few questions after the call. Yeah, I think that MRs are an area of concern. Uh, like there's almost mm -hmm. a thousand open right now. Uh, but it's not necessarily easy to move them either. Since yeah. they're two different, technically two different projects today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, any other questions or concerns?
Okay, cool. Uh, just wanted to make sure I'm not caught up on notes. Any other topics? Any other questions? All right. Well, thanks for thanks for your time. We'll do this again in about a month. Cool. Cool. All right. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Cheers. Thanks.